welcome to VOP Business Show. I'm Kayla Abraham. The federal government on Tuesday says it is accelerating the growth of critical gas infrastructure to provide an alternative source of energy to Nigerians. The chief, chief executive of Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, Farouk Ahmed, stated this at the ongoing Energy and Labor Summit organized by the Petroleum and National Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria in Abuja. He noted that the agency has signed a memorandum of understanding with a local company to supply about 1,000 compressed natural gas forces for mass transit. Farouk stated that the agency has issued a wholesale gas supply license to one of the local companies, all in an effort to provide an alternative source of energy to Nigerians. He also stated that the agency has commenced a review of new gas supply projects. The president of Pengasin, Festus Osifo, stated that over the years, the labor movement has been steadfast about what needs to be done before the government could go into deregulation. Labor established what should be done in the short, medium and long term during the period. According to him, Pengasin is aligning with the instrument of trade of the oil and gas commodity when he cited a model used in Angola where the law fixes worker salaries in dollars and pays them the equivalent in legal currency. Now, the International Monetary Fund IMF has cut global economic growth for the year by 0.5 points to 3% from its 3.5% forecast in 2022. The global financial institution has also lowered, also lowered the forecast for 2024 by another 0.1% 1, to 2.9%. The latest forecast was unveiled yesterday from the IMF's latest World Economic Outlook report for October 2023 in Marrakesh, Morocco. According to the report, economic activity still falls short if of its pre-pandemic path, especially in emerging markets and developing economies, and there are widening divergences among regions. The projections remain below the historical average of 3.8%, saying for advanced economies, economies the expected slowdown was from 2.6% in 2022 to 1.5% 1 in 2023 and 1.4% 1 in 2024. It stated that forecasts for global growth over the medium term at 3.1% were at their lowest in decades, adding that prospects for countries to catch up to higher leaving standards remain weak. It also noted that global inflation is forecast to decline steadily from 8.7% in 2022 to 6.9% in 2023 and 5.8% in 2024, stating, however, that the forecast for 2023 and 2024 are revised up by 0.1 percentage point and 0.6 percentage points, respectively, and that inflation wasn't expected to return to target until 2025 in most cases. Now the federal government has disclosed its intentions will focus more on domestic resources mobilization with a focus on a more efficient collection of taxes, fees and payments that are due to the government. The Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Adun, made, made this disclosure on Tuesday on the sidelines of the ongoing World Bank Group and International Monetary Fund annual meetings holding in Marrakech, Morocco. Adun, who spoke Mostly, who spoke shortly after G24 meeting involving Nigeria stated that the meeting focused on how the World Bank Group and IMF could be reformed to offer more support to developing economies. According to him, global interest rates have been rising and there is a need for countries including Nigeria to focus more on mobilizing resources locally, a move Nigeria has started embarking on. I do also stated that the Tinubu-led government would unveil a major tax policy reform very soon. Now, the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development has stated that the federal government is ready to partner and support the airline operators of Nigeria once they are ready to raise the standard of their services. Festus Kayamo stated this when members of the airline operators of Nigeria, led by Dr. Abdul Munaf Yunusa, paid him a cutty visit in his office on Tuesday. Disclosing his readiness to support the growth and sustenance of the local airline operators while holding them to the highest international standards in the aviation industry, K. 
Kiamo noted that they are critical to the growth and development of the aviation industry and the country at large, hence government is ready to help them operate pro profitably. Kiamo assured of a possible review of all BASA agreements, stressing the need of a the need for AON to renew and repair their fleets to encourage patronage. He also pleaded with airline operators to cooperate with themselves to find a way to establish their businesses such that it will have enough capital basis to survive instances in difficult periods like COVID-19 pandemic. He promised to suggest to government the possibilities of AON accessing facilities at single digits, including associated foreign exchange, to meet their foreign exchange obligations. While welcoming investors to establish commercial MROs in Nigeria, Kayamo stated that during his administration, a futuristic master plan will be developed to accommodate everything that would make Nigeria an aviation hub in Africa while employing all airlines to utilize their bilateral air service agreements route to reduce the prices of airfare. AON, while proposing solution requested for licenses for Jet A1 importation and distribution through strategic partnership and an immediate review of all industry taxes, fees and charges. They also called for immediate re renegotiation of all existing buses and more multilateral air service agreements in line with provision of single air Africa transport market with emphasis on the principle of reciprocity in favor of domestic airlines. To curb the incessant oil theft, the Nigerian Upstream Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, has introduced an advanced cargo declaration regime in upstream petroleum operations. The Commission also announced plans to reactivate shut in wells as part of initiatives to increase oil and gas production. The Commission's Chief Executive Officer, Benga Komolafe, broke the news at a new international strategic conference organized by the Association of Energy Correspondent of Nigeria, NAEC, in Lagos. Represented by Abel Nsa, head of National Oil and Gas Excellence Center, NUPRC, Komolafe said the initiative is aimed at ensuring that crude oil and gas exports have a unique identifier that confirms documentation of exports. He also stated that NUPRC had deployed key resources to the Special Investigative Unit of the Commission to forestall sharp practices by operators. Kamalafe added that ad agency had begun the implementation of the drill or drop provision with a review of assets which had been unde undeveloped by operators. He stated that the ongoing mini bid round for seven deep offshore petroleum prospect prospecting licenses PPLs would boost the nation's reserves as well as bring about anticipated benefits to the nation and other stakeholders. On reduction in unit costs per barrel and revenue, he explained that the Commission is committed to ensuring a significant reduction in the cost of doing business in the upstream petroleum industry. Finally, the Naira fell further on Tuesday as its exchange for the dollar at the parallel market between 1,005 per dollar and 1,025 per dollar. Owners of small-scale enterprises, Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, and manufacturers expressed concern about the falling value of the Naira, warning that it will lead to shutting down of factories and attended job losses. The Naira has maintained a downward trend since the Central Bank of Nigeria allowed a free float of the national currency against the dollar and other global currencies in June. This decline has further led to manufacturers struggling to get raw materials with more companies planning to sack more workers or shut down. With a declining Naira value, manufacturers are faced with cutting production, jobs, and raw material imports. And that's all on VOP Business Show and VOP TV. We would like you to subscribe and engage us on YouTube. It is Voice of the People TV and on other social media channels at VOP TV Live. I'm Kayla Abraham. Thanks for watching.